Composite Organization Structure, presented by Brian Yang, Lucas Bittencourt, Zach Turner, Blake Pearson, and Sam Worthlin. A composite organization structure is a hybrid kind of organization. This type evolves based on the needs to have different control structure at different levels of the organization. It blends the functional, matrix, and projectized organization structures. An organization becomes composite when implementing two or more organization structures. An organization may deliver one project in a balanced matrix way, while another is being performed in a functional way. It can also have another project being done as projectized. Such needs could be temporary or permanent. An example of composite organization structure is concurrent engineering CE practices. CE suggests that a composite organizational form is best for rapid prototype and cost-effective product development. The composite organization in CE deploys cross-functional teaming, an organic practice like a balanced matrix that facilitates creativity, and mechanistic practice like a functional organization structure that helps keep cross-functional team design projects on schedule and within budget. CIT can extend these capabilities by facilitating communication across disparate functions and by allowing product design teams to take part in design controls and software applications. And now, here are the upsides of using the composite structure. When a company grows, its complexity also increases tremendously. This leads to the need for many different teams and types of teams. The composite structure lends itself to this readily because of its flexibility. It allows the company to implement different organizational structures whenever and wherever they want. This can be used to ensure that all of the benefits from the other structures can be seen. This practice complements training in cross-functional teams so that there is no confusion between teams with different structures. While the composite structure has many upsides, it also has its fair share of downsides. So one of the downsides could be that there is confusion within the organization due to the use of multiple organizational structures. Because each project is able to have a different organizational structure, um, there could be confusion within the employees as to which organizational structure is being used, especially if there's work cross teams, um, if there's multiple teams that are working on singular projects or working with other teams on different projects, they have to adapt their work style to the organizational structure. Another downside is that um, they're required drastically different management styles in order to accommodate the organizational structures. The management style needed for a functional organizational structure is going to be different than um, the management style needed for different organizational structures. This requires um, managers to be trained on how to use their specific organizational structure and requires um, the company or the organization to employ different trainings or different ways that they can train their managers on each individual organizational structure. Also, another downside is additional decisions must be made on which organizational structure to use for different projects. While this does gain, give a certain amount of flexibility to the organization, this also causes there to be more decisions that need to be made and more things that could go wrong if the wrong organizational structure is chosen. This is how to apply the composite organizational structure. Since composite organizational structure is a hybrid of two or more organizational structures, it is used by most modern businesses. There is no mandatory usage of any other organizational structure in particular, as long as there is two or more being used at any level within the company. So it's not required to have any other organizational structure as long as there's more than two. Applying this structure is as simple as having an employee who answers to several supervisors, depending on the activity that is being done. The most important principle is to use the organization that best fits the project. 
On the next slide, I'll present an example to make this even easier to understand. So, let's imagine the State Government Department of Transportation has a maintenance division which seeks to maintain the level of service of the state's roads and bridges, and a capital projects division which builds new roads and bridges. The maintenance division and the capital projects division are located side by side, reporting to the executive. This is a composite organizational structure. A matrix structure would require new construction to occur within one of the maintenance departments. The project manager would report to a functional manager rather than the executive. The composite organizational structure is most effective when an organization works on a variety of different projects, either simultaneously or sequentially. An organization will function better when it is flexible instead of forcing a project into an organizational structure that doesn't work well with it. This means that an organization could use a projectized structure on one project and use a functional structure on a different project. Whichever organizational structure is most effective for a given project is the one that will be used. For this reason, the composite organizational structure is the most frequently used organizational structure today.